candidates running for mayor of Agua, Mayor Richard Cohen versus uh, former state representative Rosemary Sandlin. Mayor Cohen's on the left of your screen, M Mrs. Sandlin on the right. Mayor Cohen will ask the next question. Yes, I just want to say that we don't have Disneyland answers, but Mrs. Uh, Sandlin's responses are certainly from Pluto because we have a split tax rate. The city she mentioned have a single tax rate. She doesn't understand finances at all. As mayor, one of your primary jobs, Mrs. Sandlin, would be to negotiate with public sector unions. And on behalf of the people of Agawam, how can you possibly do this fairly and impartially when you have accepted tens of thousands of dollars of dollars of union and PAC money to fund your campaign, and then you unethically meet with a union, a city union, Question. making promises? So how can you negotiate? Mr. Cohen, when I served on the school committee, with you, matter of fact, we negotiated contracts with the school committee very effectively. Unfortunately, you couldn't be involved in that because your brother is an, an employee. And when I asked to leave executive sessions, you refused, saying you didn't want to talk, but you wanted to listen. So I think that what you're charging me with is simply what you have done yourself. You claim in your administration that you've had no ethics violations. But you failed to mention your brother, who had a hundred thousand dollar violation, ethics violation. It was not given one remand by your administration, not one. So don't throw stones when you can't take a hit. Mrs. Sandler, you're not debating my brother. My brother doesn't work for me. He works for the principal. You should know being on the school committee as a legislator under No Child Left Behind. I can't do anything. I don't have the right. It's the principal's authority. But you talk about negotiations. You were the one, and I have the ad here, and you signed it, saying teachers only work four hours a day. Please, Mrs. Sandlin, that's not fair negotiations. I wouldn't sign that or put my name on it for anything. Rosemary, your next question, please. Mr. Cohen, let's get back to the facts. That was second. Good. Excuse me, I don't interrupt you, sir, and I don't appreciate you interrupting me. Could you show me the courtesy that I showed you? That's good, Mrs. Second, the second industrial, uh, um, second industrial Park. West Springfield's new growth projections are twice as high as Agawam's. We need to develop an industrial park to attract business, expand our tax base, and provide jobs. When can we expect something more than just words and possibilities? Mrs. Sidlin, we've discussed this over and over, and again, you brought this up, and I'm happy to answer it again. We are permitting a second industrial park behind the um, DPW. I've spoken with Secretary Sullivan. We're working on the national heritage issues, and that should be resolved. We are also looking at the 160 acres of which can be developed of those acreages that has sewers, and we are looking to do that. We have been fiscally responsible, and I know you're going to attack me on that, but you know what? Our bond ratings are double A and double A3, and we just rene renegotiated all our bond ratings and will save over $800,000 in, in revenue because we are fiscally responsible, Mrs. Sandlin, and I am proud of that. This is a wonderful community in which to live, and, uh, but we have to be frugal. Rebuttal. Mayor Cohen says we can't afford an economic development person. The Agom Chamber of Commerce said we needed one six years ago. And that may be why we don't have the second industrial park and our new growth projections are so low. Mr. Cohen wants you to think that everything is rosy in Agom. Matter of fact, um, he usually calls me rosy when he thinks he's my friend. But I will tell you straight out, we do not have the room right now without um, a zone change so that we can have a second industrial park. We need to have an economic development person. Time. Okay, Mayor Cohen, your next question, please. My next question would be, very simply, Mrs. Sandlin, and I'm speaking specifically to you. You and Mr. Quatrone, who are best friends, and he supports you. He was the executive director. And I have his Office for Finance Campaign Ethics against you, Linda Malconian, and Mr. Quatrone for illegal fundraising and campaigning. 
as a school committee person, as a legislator, having been, been the chief of staff for Linda Malconian, and you also had a second Question here, fundraiser. Please. How can you, how can you personally run a city when you've had more ethics violations than anyone I know? May I respond to that, sir? You may. I am proud to be an Ag One resident. I've served 30 years of my life as a volunteer. I have helped countless people, and I'm proud that I work for Linda Malconian. I cannot deny that Chris Quatrone is my friend. I've known him and his mother and his father since he was born. So I think that you need to be very careful when you talk about people that are doing really wonderful things for the town. Linda Malconian brought the Veterans Cemetery to Agawam along with Ruth, um, with Mrs. Bissis. I worked on that. I worked on that. I think you need to be, instead of throwing stones, you should be talking to me as a human being. I am a resident of Agawam. I raised my children in Agawam. I love my community, and I have volunteered in many aspects of my community. Rebuttal. I think that's great, Mrs. Sandlin. It just shows you're contradictory. You threw an attack at my brother. You've thrown an attack at the police chief. You've thrown attacks at the clerk. You've thrown attacks at the uh, treasurer collector. You say our planning person doesn't do the job. You throw more bullets and attacks at good citizens, and I, too, am a citizen. And I'm proud to live in Aguam just as you are. But I've talked truth. I've talked facts. I've talked accomplishments. You've done nothing but throw stones. Time.